So anyways guys, again, earlier on, earlier on I went somewhere. I want to see a friend and uh, I also happened to see where they're selling matumbo. This is called matumbo. It's a cow intestine. In some countries, maybe you don't eat, but in my country, this is really a special, you know, it's our delicacy in my country. Anyways, so I want also to cook this one. It was already cleaned and prepared, you know, I, by my house help, but I just have to redo it again just to you know just to be satisfied i'm not saying like she did a bad job or she didn't do it well but you know i'm not about to cook so it's just good to redo or do a thorough cleaning so guys let's get to the sink so guys i'm trying to clean uh, matumbo it was already cleaned but i just love doing uh it's something to make sure that I'm comfortable and it's thorough. Actually, if you don't clean matumbo really well, then uh, when you once you you are done with the cooking, once your food is ready, it will have some. You will feel some uh, soil when you are eating. So that's the reason to why I like to make sure that it's really cleaned thoroughly. So we are done. I'm done with that. And now it's clean. So what I'm going to do again now, let's, let me remove it. And let me get back to the other side. Click. And uh, I normally actually don't cut, you know, into small pieces. So when I still just want to boil it, I just boil it the way it is. Then once it's already cooked and soft, then I now can chop it, you know, or cut it into small pieces or cut it into medium pieces. It depends with the way you like it. So I'm going to put it in inside the uh, pot or the sufuria. I don't know how you call it in your country. And cover it and get to it. Get here. First, actually, the things that I've not done. Normally, when I want to boil, I have to put some salt. I just, you know, uh, put the salt that I know will be enough. But I don't have the, you know, something to measure with. That one, I don't do that one. I just go the way, the Kinyaji way. And um, uh, I think I'm just going to use salt alone or salt only. Then... So I need to add some water, not too much, but at least let me add some water. Then, then now let me close it. Oh my God! No water came to this cooker here. So now I'm done with all that. I'm now going to leave Matumbo or our meat 
to boil to the maximum for at least one hour but when i'm back within one hour if it will not, it will not be soft enough for me then i will still let it continue boiling to the maximum so that it can be soft enough for me so and um, i have also to mix a uh, salt remember i added some salt here so i have to mix salt and that water and matumbo to give it good enough taste and back in this kitchen after one hour yeah and in the meantime as it's going to work i'm this kind of a people that carry work with them at home so i'm going to do some real work before I come back. One hour. One hour is enough. It's a long time just to sit there doing nothing. Anyways. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to go up with my flower. <laughs> I'm taking this to my bedroom so let me just uh, put back this one the way it was and uh, because this this the flower was dedicated to me and it's special so I need to go back no I need to take it uh, to my bedroom yep uh, So now it's exactly one hour so i had to come back and check if my matumbo or if my meat is ready so that i can now be able to cut and prepare my food so even after boiling it's really well to the maximum and it, the meat was now soft or the matumbo was now soft i still need to do the mixture really well just to make sure that my salt has entered you know it's really inside the meat that's what i mean so by confirming that i had to i have to test it so anyways guys um i'm about now to start cutting them or chopping them to two into small pieces i don't really like small pieces but a little bit of medium pieces so that's what exactly i want to do right now so yeah enjoy the cooking with me So also lately, I just decided not to be using a lot of spices or spices in my food. So in this food, I'm only going to use a tomatoes, onions, garlic, and pepper, the hot pepper, the ones that you're seeing in red. So normally when I get a paper, the red chili from my garden, I there's some parts that I don't want to use, so I have to remove them. So um, then I leave the, be the, the good parts that I need to use before I, st I put them in my food. So yeah, so let's uh, try to cut them, cut the onions, tomatoes and get back to our oven.
So finally, matumbo is ready. Our food is ready. It's been two hours, 15 minutes in this kitchen. So you can decide it to let it, you know, uh, leave it dry like this, a little bit of wet dry. Or you can also just add some soup, which here I'm going to add the soup that I'd already cooked it with, so I did not throw it away. And the food is ready. So you can decide to serve it with matoke. Matoke is a boiled banana. And also you can decide to serve it with rice or you can decide to serve it with ugali. So I'm going to serve it with ugali because personally I like with ugali and some vegetables. Mm -hmm. So guys, let's enjoy the meal. Our meal is ready. <laughs> So our food is ready. This is the final look of the matumbo that I was cooking. And in this video, you've seen me in three dresses or three attires, um, just because of some because of reasons. Anyways, uh huh. And uh, I had also this vegetable. This is mboga kenyeji. It is a mixed vegetable. Uh, there are five of them. I'm not going to explain about this, but my focus was on this one. So this is how it looks like. It looks yummy. So enjoy eating this food with me. Also I have maogali here. I'm going to eat it with ugali. So I'm going to start with the, by serving vegetable. Just a small piece is enough. As we are also watching our our weight let me see what else to add here what should i add okay that's enough yeah yeah okay so next thing is to eat let me know some people they like eating this matumbo with the matoke or other ways but uh, me i like it with ugali so the ugali is big because there's another person there are actually two people who are coming to eat but they ha they are not here yet so me i'm not going to eat for wait for them so the food looks yummy yeah mm -hmm. Mm. Wow, it's really good. And the pepper. Mm. Ooh. The pepper is not too much. Mm. Matumbo is soft. Cow intestine. So there's two different types of matumbo in, in my country or in any other country. There's a goat and there's cow. So me personally like for cow. This is just delicious. Hmm? You cook your food and you enjoy your food. Amazing. Mm. 